Today's project is a Zenith. It's a 20X1C38 chassis. I was watching a ball game on this the other day and I lost the video, the vertical. Well, I didn't lose it. It started jumping, shrinking, expanding, not locking, just really, really out of whack. So I decided I'd do a few checks on it. One of the things I did was I put the uh, chassis inside another uh, working cabinet just to confirm that the uh, the yoke wasn't a problem because I also noticed that I think the CRT on this set is starting to go. I noticed it was starting to bloom somewhat and looking closely at the neck of the CRT I could see what looked like orange glowing up around the, uh, the focus anode almost like a almost like a charcoal ember. I'm not sure what was going on there. I don't know if it's gas or what but it was holding the high voltage down so clearly there's something something screwed up with the CRT and I thought if it was the focus it might have been um, affecting the vertical because the vertical derives some of its voltage from the flyback the flyback is being fouled because it's getting loaded down blah 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 so anyway I decided to pull it out and try it in a with a different CRT and a different yoke essentially a test bed a test jig did exactly the same thing so that clears the CRT at least as being the problem here and it also clears the yoke so what I did here to try to figure out what's going on was I did check the it, it does on a raster too so I don't think it's got anything to do with anything before the horse the, the vertical oscillator and the vertical out there's and there's not that many components to a Zenith vertical um, there's a 6HE5 and a 6AB11, I think, or 6ACB11 or something like that. Some compactron. I did check some of the capacitors that were problem that could have been the issue. Uh, there's a coupling cap here. It's a cathode bypass cap on the vertical out. Uh, this is a, I think this was the... Um, screen grid decoupling cap on the vertical out there's a couple of caps here that are part of the feedback circuit all these checked okay you'll notice this thing has pretty much all original capacitors in it I found that these kind of a uh, rough matte finish caps rarely go bad and these uh, brown plastic caps on Zenus usually are okay so you know, for all those people who like to solve a problem by recapping, um, that doesn't always work. And if it doesn't work, then what do you do? So the idea, the next part of the process, I do, I did do some work in here. I did see some caps, some resistor changes up in here. I must have done some work on it. I don't recall what the issue was, but you see, it still has a lot of the original electrolytics there, 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 there. And these all tested okay. So the one thing I did replace is there's this cap here, which is a, um, I think that's a filter cap on the 790 volts that comes out of the flyback uh, voltage, the focus voltage circuit. And there's the same cap up here. Those are, these, both, of, those are both those white L Minkos. I do routinely replace those in Xenos, at least I used to, not so much anymore, but I was worried about them because they don't have an effective way to test them. My theory is this. It could be the flyback. It's hard to say for sure because if it's not a dead short, it's hard to test with an ohm meter. I mean, it might have leakage at, at, at spikes of voltage that could be causing this problem. And I did do some, some preliminary tests. It doesn't look burned. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it here. So, I don't know. That's... That's always a possibility. So my next plan of operation is I'm going to put my T, my BK1076 analyst to, to task, and we're going to feed it a. Um, I think it comes in right here. I think that's where the point is. I'll have to double check the schematic, but I'll feed a grid drive to the. Um, actually, it'll be over here somewhere. To the uh, vertical out tube. This is the vertical out tube. It uses a 6HE5 vertical out. I'll give it a grid drive signal, see if I can get a good clean raster. If it doesn't work, if I don't get a good clean raster there, 
uh, give it a plate dry. In fact, it might just go right to the plate, which you just pull this tube out, you put a plate drive, and that basically just drives the transformer. Just I want to see if this transforms the issue. If I give it a plate drive signal from the BK, and I get the exact same jumpy, collapsing, all over the place vertical, then I'm pretty sure it has to be this because I try a different convergence board on the test jig, I try a different yoke on the test jig. The only thing that would be the only thing between this plate and the the yoke is this transformer at that point. So, and I happen to have another one of these, I think. So, I hate the fact that this transformer could be bad because it's got a gazillion wires one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's got about nine or ten wires because it's not just a vertical, primary, and secondary, but there's also uh, convergence circuits tied into this thing. So it's a real pain to replace it with all the wiring, but if I have to do it, I have to do it. Anyway, that's the plan, and uh, there'll be more to come later. We'll see how it goes. Thanks.